hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel Arky Nomad. and this today's tutorial we are going to create a cool animation effect in twin motion so let's get started so before starting our animation work we just need to first export the 3d model from Revit, and for that we just need to first uh, i mean i just want to show you an example how you can do it basically there is a plugin you can find on google and you will you will get this one you can just simply go to twin motion website you will get the plugin for Revit for exporting twin motion models and make sure that whenever you're exporting you should be on a 3d more 3d view so here is our twin motion i'm using 2021 1.1 so basically first of all you have to just import that exported file from Revit. so just go here and then import option and then click here open and here's the scene which I created so just to open this one and click OK actually I created uh, so many times so many you can just um, use uh, maybe okay I'll just keep it okay I'll just keep it like that no issues and here you cannot find it so just go here on your just here in the right corner you'll find this arrow just select the scene and press F on your keyboard so then you can find it so this is our small of 3d floor plan I created in Revit and I exported I mean I imported here after exporting from Revit so let me just delete this one this floor we don't need it so basically this is a kind of a ground in twin motion by default so we can just select just select this one and you see this kind of a orange color selection tool you, use, you just find out here all over the place just select that and press delete on your keyboard and I want to change this scene to a plane like a look I just go here and let me just find out maybe it's somewhere here oh let me find out sometime I get forgot okay this one background change this to none and that's it so now I would like to actually add the material for the wall and uh, for the floors then we are going to add some objects into this 3d floor plan model and then we will start creating a transformation kind of animation effect so then we can export it into the video it was gonna be really cool so for adding the material you just have to go here and select this you just see here the small arrow maybe you're using a different version so you just have to go in the asset and you have to see this library and you have to go to just check out the assets all over whatever you have so just go here in the materials and i like to add wood texture kind of a wooden will be good i think so so we can just select the wooden and maybe i'll just go let's check this one it's a very quick easy in drag and drop you just drag and drop it and it will get the texture of it so let me just select this one or oh, maybe this one no that one that one is good okay that's fine so just let me just scale it a little bit better okay I think it's fully scaled just according to you you can just scale it no issues with that kind of this okay so now you just uh, you can also increase the reflection you see this this reflection coming up through that so you can add it let me just increase it it looks cool so now let's add material for the walls let's go here and find this wall covering you can add this one this one looks cool let me check i go here and scale and let me i just forgot to tell you that if you want to move it's just like a, when you play you used to play games on a keyboard so just like a w s a and d just like that w to forward uh, if you want to go back side just go press s on your keyboard then a from left and right d just like that so small shortcut keys will help you a lot while working in 3d environment so maybe we can add okay this one is good not bad or maybe you can this one Wow, really nice i would like to add some contrasting color they'll be fine okay i'll just clean this one is good so now just add some objects to into this model okay so for that we have this 
library called objects we just go here home living and we can find a lot of things like let's go here and, and add this one simply drag and drop and i don't know why but twin motion really lags a lot it just make sure that whenever you're working with the twin motion just keep saving your files because it will crash and you're gonna lose your files so make sure that happens to me many times let's do this one let's place it you just have to simply drag and drop easy peasy go here you can adjust through this you see this access line you just go here and then you can adjust it accordingly it's in 3d access point oops somewhere too far you see this 3d access point you can make it like that just simply just not too close okay this one is fine okay so let's add some more objects so let's go back here oh first let's save Control s a couple of times to so save and let's go back to the library and uh, let's find some lamps tripod one this one looks cool i just want to place it somewhere here and later on we're going to change this uh shadow because it's coming in the different direction we cannot see the area should i want it should be fully visible without any shadows okay so we're getting some kind of a shadow here so i'll change it later on i'll teach you how to do it so let's go add and so far okay we have ah, this one red one looks cool and let's just hover your mouse you just see this option called degree just change it to 180 that's it turn it around or you can change it manually like that it takes time it's okay i like it this way let's add some carpet let me find it decoration we have a lot of elements you can play around and you can do your and be creative you can do your own stuff in your own way okay let's find it ah oh, this one this one looks good okay let me just add it and let's find its correct position just go here just a little bit okay fine now let's just make it like this be good right think so okay so now let's add more objects let me add some one table this one be good and save it and make sure that you should save it whenever you're working with the twin motion it crashes a lot i don't know why but just keep saving your files press ctrl s let's see it oh are you going press ctrl s and keep saving your files that's the safest way to keep your files saved let's add one more small object okay plantation i love plants i love growing plants of course i do in gardening also i love it so we can add it here and we should always plant trees for our planet okay so i think for this video this much objects is good you can add experiment according to you you can just do it okay there we have a lot of things i don't want to mess around so now let's begin our the main part called animation so let's go here again library you see this option called tools just go here and select go here in this animators select this translators and this is the translator just simply drag and drop and this is gonna help you out with that so basically translator will help you to you know fly your objects i mean not really but in this virtual world so of course just go here and just dra and drag and drop and then just just make sure that it should be selected and then you see this option object link just select this one and select whatever the object you want it to like a flowing effect as you can see that it's on a ping pong and what uh, we can change it later on so just simply select so now we can see that our object is floating looks cool so let me say we can actually change its distance i don't want to see inside of this frame i just want to make it once oh it's too far i think it's getting too far oh my god it's too far i don't want to make it like that just make it a little bit like this or this much i think just i'm getting this shadow actually i, I need to fix this one first so let's go and fix the shadow 
so go here in the setting go to the location and either you can just change the north offset like this and the time of the day okay okay this one looks cool not bad so let's select this one again and then go back let's go back here oops sorry so let's select this one you will again get this option and let's set its distance i don't want to see the the that shadow which is coming from the top and i'll increase the speed to two that'll be good and for this one i'll check six let's see are we getting shadow okay let's change it to seven uh still we are getting okay let's add more 10 10 will be good i think so maybe nine let's check nine oh we're getting them and still shut i think 10 will be just want to make it a little bit clean so that we can easily understand what's going on let's again do the same thing select just make it closure to that object so that later on you can easily identify which objects is actually for the translator so just select and go here increase to two ping pong at once and then increase its height just simply four will be good okay sorry four oops two it's kind of like that so yeah and now let's do for other objects so again drag and drop once set its speed to two and then just go here and link that object whichever you want okay i'll go for this plant one just simply go here okay let's simply go here and five i think five will be good five meter is good for this one and let's go again do the same thing for the tv and for the tv and the carpet let's do later on because we're going to change its orientation for the animation so let's uh first go for this one let me just draw a uh, drag and drop somewhere here okay should be nearby so i can identify again link that object the whole object yeah that's good once and then two and then distance that's pretty good and then we're done here for the vertical one let's uh, start with the horizontal okay so first i'll place again and you go here this is option called more or maybe you'll find it somewhere here in the later version or the older one if you're using so just go here and find this axis i'll change this to y so you see this now it's gonna move the y direction again just link it just simple as that go here and back and transaction distance uh six meter i think will be good once two you can just uh, actually you can set your own time no worries for that i just want don't want to mess with it around too much because make sure it should not come inside of your frame that's it that's what my point is right so let's simply just like that okay for the tv it's gonna be the same thing i want to change it into different direction so let's set it to x okay we need to rotate this one uh, okay rotate 180 sorry 180 enter and now we can just simply click and then we can just uh, set its speed to maybe 5 and its speed to be 2 you say this you can set uh, your speed according to your objects whichever you want it to you know play around with that so yeah this is now done for our creating the object movement and now we're going to create the animation the final step so let's get started and let's do the final step so you just have to go here in the media and for basically I would like to actually create a small kind of a section 
a small section of video like an eight second or ten second that'll be good so if, let me just create one eight second and i'll create two just two portion of it and you can actually you can also change the camera angle and you can make it like a movement one so you can also do that in my upcoming videos i'll be creating that too and if you have a related to question to this uh, you can ask me on the comment i will definitely help you out guys so now we actually created two frames for it now just simply go here in the export option and go here and select this video and now we're going to start exporting so let's start exporting the video and see how it's going to look like in the animation in fact select this video which we created actually the frame and then just start exporting you can just simply select any of the folder whichever you want to save and select the folder and now our video is now getting exported so let's see how it's gonna look like okay so our video is now exported let's see okay so as you can see that we exported our video let's play this video and let's see how it's gonna look like wow that's really fantastic as you can see that it's it's really nice you can just create your own effects like this and you have you can change its time as you can see that its object is moving really nice way you can be just be creative and just just be curious to do your stuff by your own and you can create an amazing cool looking animation effects for your projects so this is much for this video guys if you have any question you can just ask me on the comments i'll definitely answer each and every question and thank you so much for your support and my channel it's gonna be 1000 subscribers soon i think i'm reaching so it's really helped me a lot and hit like and subscribe to my channel i'll be creating more content as soon as possible because i got so much busy on my project so okay so thank you so much for showing me your support and keeps sharing my videos um, like whoever wanted to learn rabbit and if i have any question learning rabbit you can just ask me and reach to my website www.arkinomad.com and uh, soon i'll be launching my own course which is actually fully in industrial based experience because i worked in so many industries so i'll be sharing my the correct knowledge where you can learn from me and you can definitely find a better opportunity in upcoming future because BIM is the future of course so see you guys in the next video thank you so much